First of all, thank you very, very much to all of you for taking our time to be with us. Uh, you know, we have our customers here today with us. We have our distributors. We've got some celebrities, people from the sports. So all the PBA players, thank you very much for taking our time to be with us. We're extremely excited today uh, because uh, one, we are always excited to launch and to relaunch our uh, and reiterate our partnership with NBA. Uh, we are extremely passionate to ensure that through our products and services, we are empowering customers to take control of their lives through robust financial planning. That's been our advocacy for the longest time. And in order to take this advocacy and this advice to our customers, we are extremely proud of the fact that we have partnered with NBA. And the reason is because sports is, in our, uh, in our belief, we believe that sports is a very good way of taking our message across to our customers because of the fact that uh, sports, and especially NBA and AXA, we share a lot of values together. We share the values of integrity, we share the values of courage, we share the values of innovation. And through the medium of sports, we want to bring this message to our customers and our prospects that it is important to create a financial plan for themselves. As it's important that in every sport, in every game, we create a plan to win the game, to play the game. Similarly, in your own personal and lives, it's important to create a financial plan for your lives. And that's why, you know, we are always proud of our association uh, with NBA because of the common message that we bring to our uh, customers through this partnership. We are also going to be in the 3X, uh, you know, event. So. I would like to invite all of you uh, to attend this particular uh, you know, program that we have towards the end of this particular week with NBA, the NBA 3X. And one more reason what makes this day today special is the fact that we are launching our global brand campaign, which is called No You Can. That's why we have you know, the, uh, the campaign on our, on our attire. But to tell you more about it later, I will, uh, we will invite Amor. Uh, to speak about that, uh, so to get the to get all the uh, you know plans and the program for today to get them things started. Uh, thank you very much to be here again with all uh, with us and enjoy the day and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much once again to be with us. Today. We're here to um, uh, to I guess tip off the start of the NBA 3X weekend presented by AXA. Uh, this is our biggest NBA 3X event ever. We have 260 teams across eight divisions, uh, including a celebrity division, uh, also including a division specifically for uh, partners and clients of AXA Philippines. So we're very excited about that. Our event is on August 3 and 4, this Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be at the SM All of Asia Music Hall and the PICC Forum 10. So two venues. Um, because we have 10 courts set up uh, across the two venues to get that many teams going. The finals will be on Sunday. And uh, the, the one side note for the event, we're very happy to support uh, obviously the growth and uh, development of Philippine basketball, our efforts for NBA 3X, which is already in its ninth year. Um, and thank you very much to our media friends for supporting our event every year. Uh, is that we are trying to help the local federation, the SBP, to accumulate the points necessary for our 3x or 3 on 3 team to qualify for the 2020 Olympic Games. So our event actually counts towards those points. In the latest survey, I think we're only about a few slots outside of the top, I'm not sure if it's 24 teams that are going to make it to the Olympics. So hopefully, with events like the 3x and the SBP's own efforts on 3 on 3, we can finally have uh, we can have our basketball teams in the Tokyo Olympics. So, uh, but before I uh, before I get off the stage, I again wanted to thank AXA. Really excited about this new campaign. They're they're launching the Know You Can campaign. It really is. I hope I'm not spoiling anything by saying that it really captures the essence and the values of self belief, believing in yourself. And oh, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saved you a trip to the stage. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and I think it's very relevant because the the NBA guests that were that we have brought for 3X really actually embodies that the idea of self belief and the power of self belief. 
um, they really rose from the from the ranks to make it to the top basketball league in the world. I mean, and, and at least for one of them, uh, his physical stature uh, is uh, was one of the way one of the deterrent, deterrents. Right? He kept hearing the word no, not not no, but N O no. Um, so he's got a great story to tell because despite all the challenges in front of him, he was able to make it and play in the league for many, many years. So you'll hear his story when he comes when he comes to this event. So um, without further ado, I would like to, um, I guess, turn it over to the next speaker. But again, wanted to thank you guys for coming here tonight. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you, Axe of Philippines, for your support and for helping bring the NBA closer to our fans in the Philippines. Maraming salamat po. I'm very happy to introduce to you our new brand campaign, No You Can. And why? what is this campaign all about? Carla talked about it, Rahul talked about it. It's something that every individual can understand. And that is to have the self-belief that in any situation, you can overcome it. And what we want in AXA to talk about is that AXA is the partner that you have to help you go through this. So um, we are very excited about this campaign. I'm going to unveil it to you uh, in a couple of minutes. Uh, but this campaign really speaks about having that self-belief. And as uh, Carlos said, it's very relatable to everybody in this room, every athlete that, that is aspiring to make it either first UAP, then big time, then PBA, and even as far up as NBA. It's really having that self-belief. And in AXA, we believe that through the solutions that we offer and by being there for our customers uh, at every step of their life stage, that we can help them. We can help them achieve the life that they want to live. So uh, one of the other things that's very exciting about this campaign is that it is the first time that we are actually having a, a brand ambassador, no? a world-renowned uh, athlete, and uh, I will unveil it to you shortly, but she also embodies uh, you know, what it means to have self-belief in the, whether it's in her personal life as a mother, um, trying to make it in, in the world of uh, tennis. Um, and so it's the first time that we're doing this. So I don't want to prolong it. I want to share the, the um, brand campaign with you. So again, um, in three simple words, this is what the AXA brand and AXA's mission is to really empower people to um, have the self-belief that they can rise above anything and that uh, they can live the life that they choose. Our first guest comes out of Iowa State University. Has had a breakout season, one of the most biggest breakouts last season with the Denver Nuggets. 13th in the league last year in three-point percentage. Second in the league last year in assists to turnover ratio. Now he's here in the Philippines. The star continues to rise. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Denver Nuggets, wearing number 11, Monte Morris. <laughs> Superstar. Now, Monte being here is something that uh, I know a lot of you guys have a lot of questions for him, but he also had another friend with him from the NBA here in Manila right now. So, if you guys don't mind, I'd like to introduce you guys a true blue bona fide NBA legend. You know him, you've seen the highlights, you probably had the posters, you probably watched him. As he starred in that movie Space Jam. You might have heard of Space Jam. You might have heard of Space Jam a bit. One of the most prolific players, one of the most inspiring journeys and stories the NBA has ever seen. He is the embodiment of that no you can spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Charlotte Charlotte Hornet legend and NBA legend, the one, the only, Muggsy Bones! <laughs> Welcome to the 
Philippines, I know I know you guys have come a long way, but you know, so far, how we've been treating you, I know you guys have probably heard stories about how basketball crazy we are, uh, but so far, your Manila experience, how can you put it to words? Uh, it's, been, it's been phenomenal so far. Um, got a chance to see more of the city today, and uh, I look forward to meeting all these great people and uh, seeing how it goes. It's been amazing. You know, the hospitality has been unbelievable. I mean, we got in, haven't seen much, but the folks that we have seen has been very welcoming. Uh, we had an opportunity again to meet some of the media. Um, so tomorrow we get a lot more to kind of interact with a lot more folks. And we're just thankful to be here. You know, on behalf of Axel, who's really a sponsor. So we sure appreciate that. Uh, and we're be part of it. And we appreciate you guys being here as well. And this specific group of people have been handpicked some of the biggest NBA and basketball heads that we have in the Philippines they're here they've got their phones out you guys are you guys are bigger than rock stars to their right now you know an actual rock star could walk in right now and they'd be like please get out of the way I'm trying to take a photo of the NBA players thank you very much Bono take your seat in the back so that's that's a little bit of what the Philippine experience is like I hope you guys are ready for it but since you guys are here you know we, we, we want to talk about the no you can't spirit we want to talk about you know the what brought you guys here and what we really want to help instill there are going to be a lot of young players in NBA 3x this weekend you guys are going to speak to there's a lot of kids here you guys, you're going to speak to them you're probably going to say something that's really going to leave a mark in them and they'll carry you with them for a long time I just wanted to know when you guys were coming up when you guys were trying to make it to the league if you guys had that mentor figure in, in your life that maybe said something or taught you something that may have been, you know, just an, an everyday, ordinary moment to them, but it was something that you guys really took to heart and really helped you guys on your journey. If there's, you know, a, a little story like that that you could share, we'd love to hear it. Well, as a kid growing up in the inner city of Baltimore, it wasn't a mentor. I had a gentleman by the name of Leon Howard, who was the director of the uh, recreation center in that neighborhood. And he kind of took myself, Reggie Williams, down there on wing, and, and kind of introduced us to the game of basketball. I think with that information for me, it was huge. Because having that information it allowed me to understand what basketball was, the fundamental games of basketball, and it allowed me to go out there and work on certain aspects of the game. And as a small player, I had to do certain things in order to try to overcompensate. So uh, Leon Howard was my guy. Uh, the information was the key and allowed me to win take the game to the highest level. Uh, me personally, uh, there was a guy uh, named Courtney Hawkins who played with Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, and Stanford, Michigan State University uh, for football. He's now our um, athletic director at my old high school and uh, was our uh, high school football coach. And when I, I known about his success and I asked him what I had to do to get to that level. And, Starting from ninth grade all the way to 12th grade, he let me know what I had to do. He made me write down goals for every season and uh, showed me how to get to it. And um, I think him having that success, that was the only guy I knew as far in my city and went to my high school that made it to the NFL. So I wanted to play in the NBA and I had goals and he definitely helped me reach me. And, and you know, you, the two of you, you know, we were saying earlier, you guys both have it's great fortune. It's it's uh, it's a perfect pairing of, of the story that the two of you guys have and the no you can spirit that we're trying to you know instill on 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 everybody, whether it's young people or anyone who's a fan of the NBA. What was that moment? I don't know if it's a specific game. I don't know if it was a specific play when you guys were in the NBA and both of you guys had your doubters when you first entered into the league. Well, when was that moment when it kind of clicked with you that you're like, all right, wait, no, I think I can, like I can hang with these players, and more than that, I can really compete and give these guys a really hard time, and I'm at their level. I'm, I'm always so curious to know when that point was in a pro's career, when you look across the floor, and you're feeling it, and you're like, no, I belong here. Well, for me... It was day one. I, you know, I was crying. <laughs> I just felt like, you know, I, I belong. And I was. I never came off the bench in my career. I always been a starter, and that was the. More, I mean, my first year, I had to come off the bench at the beginning, and it was it was tough. But you know, I always felt like I belong. You know, just a matter of getting that opportunity. But I think that really getting into the season, my second year really was the 
turning point for me. You know, my rookie year was like an up and down roller coaster, but my sophomore, my freshman, my sophomore year in Charlotte, I was able to kind of understand the NBA a lot more. And I think uh, it takes time to get through the, the NBA. And normally, for NBA players, I would say in a third year, when you really understand truly about the NBA, um, and I hope that's why a lot of teams kind of give up on some of the players too early. But I think three years really take an NBA a player, a normal player at the NBA uh, to really understand. The we got some exceptions that come in the first year and really excel, but the majority of the guys take two to three years. Okay, well, when was that? When was that moment for you? I have a very similar story. Your rookie year, you know, you, you put in your work, you paid your dues. Your sophomore year, big breakout year for you. But what, did you have a moment when you were like, "All right, no, I'm really starting to figure these things out." Yeah, um, it was uh, in October. It's about like our tenth game, and um, we had a lot of buzz around the game. We was going down to Staples Center to play LA, the Lakers on um, TNT. Uh, was, it was a much anticipated game. We talked about LeBron back in LA, and uh, I had a breakout game. I had like 20 points, seven assists off the bench in like 21 minutes, and um, I, I helped my team uh, a lot that night. It was well unexpected. Even the head coach had talked to me after the game, like, man, I was shocked. You know, performing on this stage with not much experience shows a lot, and you know, your character and hard work and. That moment kind of turned it for me and said, you know, I can really do this. Well, no one's going to be shocked now you put up a stat line like that. Now now they're all familiar. If they didn't know then, well, they know now. Now, we have a lot more things we want to know from you guys. We've got a lot more questions, but we kind of want to put a twist to it a little bit. We want to kind of make it a little random. So we'll pair you up with a guest. Now, Paul has been, has been a, a great game. It has led to many a forgettable night for many people here at this same exact venue. I know you guys, I've seen you here at nighttime. But in this case, what we're doing is, we're pairing, I'm picking a partner for each of you, and then we're playing a little bit of Pong. If you make, if you make a shot on each cup, instead of something to drink, is a question that your opponent has to answer. So Monty, let's say for example, if you or your teammate makes a shot on Muggsy's side of things, he has to pick that question, you have to, he has to answer that question or do that challenge, no questions asked, all right? Now, allow me to introduce, allow me to introduce your partners, all right? So I'm not, I'm not gonna leave you guys, I'm not gonna leave you guys without any help here. Paul is always fun when you have teammates with you, all right? So we'll have Wants here on one side, we'll have Bugsy on, on the other side. Wants I want to introduce to you first, your teammate. Now, your teammate has been making waves in a very, very Monte Morris fashion. He's come out, burst into the scene, he has helped his team, his multi-title program, and has emerged as one of the main causes of that team very early in his collegiate career. He is the current reigning NCAA Player of the Week. Monte Morris, your teammate, is the San Bella Red Lion, Calvin Oftara. <laughs> Monte, Monte, Calvin. All right. Now, this seems like an impressive tandem that we've put together here, but I'm not going to let the legend down. I'm not going to let the legend down. I'm going to put in the most competitive athlete we have in this room. All due respect to the three of you. All due respect to the three of you, I'm going to put in the most competitive person we have in this room. If you challenge her to a race in the bathroom, she'll go full sprint in seven inch heels, no questions asked. A, she is a champion, multi-time champion volleyball player, and is someone who, quite frankly, has conquered it all, whether if it's beauty competitions or every opponent on the volleyball court, Miss Michelle Gumbaba! <laughs> Here we go. It's Muggsy and Michelle versus Calvin and Monte. We have we have the we have the balls here. You got your balls here. All right. Okay. So all right. So if you if you bounce it, they can block it. If you shoot it straight, then they can't do anything. All right. So one side shoots first. We'll let two people on each side shoot first before the other team goes on the other. All right, so 
Lady, all right, ladies first, ladies first. All right, so Michelle and Muggsy, your team go first. All right, let's go, let's go, let's see. Yeah, go for it. Oh, first shot goes in and out. Oh, Muggsy can't get it. All right, okay, we'll move over to this side. What? No, well, just, just one shot each, and then we'll alternate. All right, yeah, one shot, okay. Right, so one shot for Monte, one shot for Calvin. Oh, that's a miss. I want a question, I want to ask a question. Come on guys, all right. Back to Michelle and Muggsy. All right, it bounces in. It bounces in. So let me get this question right here. All right, okay, here we go. Question for you, Mr. Monte Morris. Or a challenge. Again, these have been predetermined. I, I, don't shoot the messenger. Question. How would... Oh no, sorry, it's a challenge. How would... Again, I didn't make these. How would a chicken shoot a basketball? <laughs> Show us how you think a chicken... Which, this sounds like a good movie, by the way. This, someone needs to make this movie. How would a chicken shoot a basketball? Act it out. They kick it, they kick it, they kick it. All right, no, I'll take that, I'll take that. Okay, we're getting warmed up, we're getting warmed up. All right, okay, it's on to you guys now. It's on to you guys. I'll be where I wanna be. All right, there you go. Getting back at the OG. For you, Mr. Bose. All right, this is something that we're gonna need a little space for. Now you've got you've got some of the best handles we've seen in the NBA. Right hand, left hand. We're wondering if you can do it with your elbow. Or he, he goes through it no problem. <laughs> It's the floor, it's the floor, it's the floor. No problem! No problem for once he bones. Alright. Alright, okay. Alright. Oh, now it gets one to go in. Alright, here we go. We're keeping score on this too. You guys can see the cups that are still there. Okay, so Calvin, you got one through. I'll let you read this one because uh, I just want everybody to know that it's Calvin Oftana who's asking the NBA legend to do this and not me. So I don't want this on record as me asking him for this. So Calvin, if you could read that out for me, please. So, so that's an expression in the Philippines. It's an age old, age old, saying comes from the mountains um that really says go for it you know go for it it's encouraging it says push moyante so that's the challenge you have to say that phrase with conviction all right all right i'll, I'll hand it to you yeah, there it all right, you have to say it with conviction. Push my way to. Push my way to. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. It means push. We'll push. Push. It means go for it. Push. Go hard. Go. Go. Go for it, girl. Is is what it means. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Monte, you still got a shot? Oh, you guys are. Oh, you guys are putting Monte to work. You made two in a row. All right, here we go. Can you just read this to make sure that again I didn't ask the OG to do this and you did? How would a fish dribble a ball? Act it out. Oh, it could be any kind of fish. It could be a shark. <laughs> oh, we'll believe you. We'll be, doesn't have to bounce in water. Doesn't have to bounce in water. All right. I know Muggsy wants some payback. I know Muggsy wants some payback. There it is. There it is. 
Alright, let me go find this. Alright, Monte, your question, on the record, and by the way, we have people here who can tell if you're lying. Of all the players the Monstars stole powers from, who is your favorite? <laughs> I'll tell the truth, my man. Uh, well, you thought about it? No, I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. Okay. I was just making sure for you. I was just making sure for you. You're still his favorite monster. All right. Okay, Michelle. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, Monte and Calvin getting hot with it. All right, okay. Here we go. All right. Question for question for you, sir, is also Space Jam related. Of all the players that the Monstars stole powers from, who are you confident in that you would have beat one on one? <laughs> no, it's just you, just on, just in the gym. It's a summer run. He says, "All right, Bugsy." First to ten. <laughs> yeah, he was a one star too. Yeah, Sean Bradley was in there. Is he number one on the list? Number one, number one on the list. Sean what the score be for the record? 10-0. 10-0. Sean Bradley and Muggsy. All right, one on one. Okay, no, I believe that too. All right, here we go. Well, Monte have one more shot, and it goes in as well. All right, now we saw people spinning the ball on their fingers earlier for 12 point something seconds was the record. We want to see how long you can keep it in the air with just your feet. So dribbling in basketball is something we know you can do. Dribbling in football and soccer means you just keep the ball up with your feet. No, you don't got to spin. You can just bounce it to see how long it can go. Yeah. This seems like you could do it for a while if we if you had some gym shorts on. All right, no, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. All right, here we go. All right, go for it. Team Muggsy. Oh, he, he's coming for you guys. He's coming for you guys now. He's coming for you guys. All right, Monte, your your challenge is to take a selfie with your opponents, but they gotta look good in the selfie, and then you gotta put on just the worst face. Just the worst face. So when they post a photo, they'll be like, look how good we look, all smiling, curly whites and everything. <laughs> oh, Bugsy wants it on his phone too. All right, okay. So if you could just please walk on over. You just gotta put on the worst face, but they gotta look good in it. They gotta look good in the selfie. All right, okay, now get, get Calvin in there, get Calvin in there with the four of you guys. So, Calvin, you too, no smiling. Gotta be the worst, wackiest, ugliest face you can put on. Come on, you can do better than that, Calvin. <laughs> All right, okay, all right. Okay, one more with the audience, one more with, with the audience. So, it, it's, 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 Mon no, it's Monte with the audience. All right. There we go. Get Muggsy in there. Get Muggsy in there.
Let's see. Let's see how well. Uh, let's see how well you and Monte have gotten to know each other. Let's see how well you and him have gotten to know each other. And on your trip here, just a question, no challenge. From which state did Monte Morris play college ball? Iowa State University. He's been scouting you. He's been scouting you for a while. That's correct. That's 100% correct. Follow-up question is, follow-up question is, Monte's squad, Monte's squad, the uh, very impressive, young, very talented Nugget squad that you represent against your best Hornets team, who wins? So, so we put you guys in the time machine. Oh, we win. <laughs> <laughs> Easy? What is it? Like it's, it's gonna be a good game, but we win. OT. Uh no OT, we in regulation. <laughs> <laughs> we win by one. You win by one. You win by one. You win by one. And, and uh we got two PZs here. What's what's your stat line gonna be? What's that? What's your stat line gonna be? Oh. He, he gonna be guarding you all night. Well you know I gotta get I'm I'm fifteen. Mm. That was eleven assists. Mm. You no, know, I gotta get me four or five steals. On him? Four or five steals. Two rebounds. <laughs> what's no no you're gonna be on no you're gonna be on him all game long, so what his what's his stat line gonna be? Well, you know, it's gonna be tough to score. <laughs> you know, you gotta get the ball across half court first. <laughs> you know, and then uh but no, uh, Monty got so much skills it's gonna be a, a heck of a game. So it's, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And the time machine. It's gonna be a hell of a game. You're just gonna you're just gonna steal the ball for it four or five times, maybe. Four or five times. Excellent. No, maybe, maybe. Thank you very much. Uh, one more time for Michelle, one more time for Calvin. Thank you very much for you guys for being part of our ball game. Alright, let's get the table out of the way. Thank you very much. And Monty, Monty, thank you very much for being such great sports, guys. We appreciate you guys playing with us here and uh, doing the challenges.